proven methods on how to do YouTube keyword research. Hi, I'm Jonathan and I have a YouTube channel with more than 12,000 subscribers. That YouTube channel was mainly built around having the right keywords in my videos. And in this video, I want to tell you how I did that so you can do that too. There are many different tools you can use for YouTube keyword research. At the end of this video, I'll rank these tools for you so you know what you can use for free or with the subscription fee. But before I head into these tools, I first want to explain to you something that's very important. When you're doing keyword research, you want to look for keywords that other people are looking for. And this is called the keyword search volume. The more the people search for a keyword, the higher the search volume is. But once you found a keyword that also other people are looking for, you want to know if any other YouTubers are creating content around that keyword. The more other YouTubers create content around that keyword, the higher the keyword difficulty is, because it's more difficult for you to also get views on that topic. If only a few other YouTubers are creating content around the keyword, but there are a lot of people looking for it, you might have found a content gap. A content gap is when people are looking for a keyword, but there's not much content around it. For example, I created this video around the content gap and I'm still getting daily views. Okay, I hope this is all clear. If not, let me know in the comments. TubeBuddy is a tool designed for YouTubers. It's a Chrome extension that you can use to optimize your channel. And one of the features is the Keyword Explorer. First, I'll explain to you the free version and then I'll dive into the paid version of TubeBuddy. After installing the Chrome version, you can go to the Keyword Explorer. Type in your keyword you want to use and press Explore. This will generate you a report where you can see the search volume, competition, also known as the keyword difficulty, and the optimization strength. With the paid version of TubeBuddy, you get more information, the search volume, the weighted competition, and you can see the optimization strength. Next to this, you also have related search queries, and those search queries can help you with finding the right tags or with some timestamps within your video description. Another great tool to work with is VidIQ. VidIQ is also created for managing your YouTube channel. For VidIQ, you can either use the website or the Chrome extension. I prefer the Chrome extension because for me it's more convenient. I'll first start with the free version and then I'll dive into the paid version. Hey, if this video brought you any value, please leave a like and subscribe to help me grow this channel. Thank you. Okay, head over to vidiq.com and search for the keyword explorer. Go to the keyword analysis tool and type in the keywords you want to do research on. This will generate a report for you. And as you can see here, you can get some basic information like the search volume, but this is all limited information. With the paid version, you get more information. Okay, head over to YouTube and click on the extension. You can provide up to five keywords, then click on search, and this will generate a report for you. You can see the keywords you provided, but also some related keywords and the overall score. Go through the list and look for keywords with a high overall score. And these keywords might be interesting for you. YouTube Analytics can also provide you keywords for your next video, but you need to look in the right report in order to find this. Okay, go to the YouTube Studio and go to YouTube Analytics. Click on Advanced Mode and go to Traffic Sources. Here you can see YouTube search. Within this report, you can see different keywords that people use to go to your video. So why is this relevant for you? Well, sometimes videos are not relevant anymore, like a 2023 news update, and you want to create a 2024 news update. You can look back in the video and see what terms people used in order to get to your video. And maybe you can use those keywords for your next video. Have you ever tried finding the right keywords with the YouTube research tab? I did and I'm still getting views because of it. Last year I created this video and I'm still getting daily views because I saw this content gap within the YouTube research tab. So how does it work? Go to the YouTube studio on mobile, tablet or your desktop device and go to the YouTube analytics. Then go to inspiration. And here you can see an overview with keywords that people are looking for or searches that are related to the topic of your channel. If you are struggling to find what people are looking for or what keywords to use in your next title of your new video, then start with the YouTube search bar because this will help you with doing research within your topic. And next to that, you can also see if some keywords are useful for your tags or for your timestamps. If you have a website, you can see what terms people use to go to your website. But you need to have Google Search Console installed on your website. Once you've installed Google Search Console, you can use those keywords and see if you can get some inspiration for it for your next video. Ever wondered if you could see what currently is trending or what keywords do have seasonality? Well, you can see that within Google Trends. And within Google Trends, you can also get some insights about keywords used within YouTube. And next to that, you can also see some related keywords that might be interesting for your timestamps or for your tags. Just type in any keyword, change Google search for YouTube, and then press enter. 
Once you've generated your report, you can scroll down and there you have your information. Last but not least, answer the public. But keep in mind, you only have three daily searches that are free. So this is how to make these daily searches count. Select the right search engine, select the right country and select the right language. Then type in the right keyword or topic you want to get information about. And this will generate a report for you. Within this report, you can see different keywords with different search volumes. Okay, I hope these tools will help you do your research. And I also understand if you don't want to spend any money on these tools. If so, my advice will be for you to use the following tools. Either go for TubeBuddy or VideoQ, the free version, and use the YouTube Analytics, the YouTube Research tab, and the YouTube search bar. And if you want more information, then take a look within Google Trends, answer the public and sometimes Google Search Console. But if you want to spend money on the tool, then either go for VidIQ or TubeBuddy and see what works for you. If you have any more questions regarding one of those tools, let me know in the comments and I'll get back to you. Good luck with doing your keyword research. Tie and bye and see you in the next one.